Yes, everyone outside there that is following us on BTN TV. I will recognize your participation in terms of following our programs. My name is Teacher Fred from Wisdom Center, Wichasela District, that is Kalumuna, a mathematics teacher. Uh, today I want us to look at this lesson. For those who have been following us, they know where we ended the last time. We have looked at place values, we have looked at values, and so on. So this time around, I want us to look at uh, expanded form. When you look at this, you want us to look at expanded form, and when we talk about expanded form, expanded form has also got different methods that we are supposed to use to work out numbers. So let's look at the first example, and we see what does it want us to do. The first example on expanded form, they have said, write 7343849 in expanded form using value. Let's look at this number here and we'll read it in words. We shall say 1, 2, 3. We first put a comma. For those who have been following us, they know what we are supposed to do. So when you look at that, we realize that we have two groups of 3, 3 and one number there. Or dig it. So when we, we say in this second group, this with thousand. So we shall say this will be seventy millions three hundred forty-three thousand eight hundred forty-nine. So they want us to expand seven millions three hundred uh, three hundred forty-three thousand eight four eight eight hundred forty-nine in expanded form using values. So they have given us already the number. And they want us to write it in expanded form using values. First of all, for us to write this number in expanded form, we shall need the first thing to copy our number here. Then we identify the of each digit in that number. So I'll come here and say this will be the same as saying 7, 3, Four, eight. We shall have seven, three, four, three, eight, four. So when we copy this number, we shall copy it the way it is. We paste it here. So from there, after copying it, we are going to give it its place values. Each digit is going to have its place values, and those who have been following us, they know how we give the place values of these digits. So we shall start with the first one. This will take the, pl uh, the place value of what? Followed by tens, hundreds, a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, then we shall come to millions. When we reach there, the next thing we shall do is to get the place value and we multiply it by the digit. There we are finding now the value of each. After getting the value of each, then we shall be in position to expand our number using values. So the first thing I'll do is I'll begin with 9. I'll say 9 times, remember 9 is taking the place value of 1's. So if it is taking the place values of 1's, I'll multiply it by 1. 1 is its place value. After finding one as its place value, then we shall continue to the next digit. And the next digit is 10. So we shall add the next, which will be 4 times its place value. We know from 1's, we come to 10's. So we shall multiply by 10. We are multiplying by 10 because 4 is under the place value of 10's. Then we shall also continue and say, to check on the next digit, which is 8. So I'll have 8 times what is the place value of 8. So we shall have to look at the place value of 8 and the place value of 100. So I'll say times 100. After there, then I'll say plus, I'll open brackets, I'll say 4 times its, I mean 3 times its place value. So I'll get my 3, I write it there. Then we look for the place value of 3. 
and that is a thousand. So we shall multiply. We shall continuously add. We shall come to the next digit, which is four. So I'll say four times. What is the place value of four? The place value of four is 10,000. So we shall multiply it by 10,000. I'll also leave it there. We have not completed all our digits, so I'll continue to the next digit, which is three. So I'll also say plus three times. What is the place value of this three? It is 100,000. So I'll multiply it by 100,000. So after multiplying it by 100,000, I will come to the next digit, that is seven. So I'll say plus the next digit, that is seven. What is the place value of seven? When we look at seven, seven is taking the place value of 100. So we shall multiply by uh, one million. It is taking the place value of a million, not a hundred. This is ones, tens, a hundred, thousands, ten thousand, a hundred thousand. So if this one is taking a hundred thousand, then seven will take a million. So we shall multiply it by a million. And a million has got six zeros. Six zeros. So from there, we shall come to the last step. The last step, we are going now to multiply everything out. We shall say nine times one, it will give us nine plus. We have four times 10, it will give us 40 plus. Eight times 100, it will give us 800. So we are now opening brackets. Then from there, I'll also say three times 1,000, which will give us 3,000. So we shall add more 3,000. This 3,000 is coming from here, three times 1,000. Then from there, we shall say four times 10,000. So I'll say that will give us 40,000. 40,000. From there, we shall proceed and say, Plus, what do we have here? We have three times 100,000. What do you come out with? Three times 100,000. We shall come out with 300,000. 300,000. 300,000. Plus, from 300,000, we shall come to seven. Seven times a million. What are we going to come out with? We shall come out with seven million. So our idea, seven millions. After adding seven millions, I will see if I have another bracket. I think this is the last. So if it is the last, I will get my round online this. So now I have expanded seven millions, 340,000. 849 using values. So when they talk about using values, this is what we do. Sometimes some people, instead of beginning with this, they can as well also do this. It is the same. So I want us to look at this. Sometimes I've said some people begin with this and some people begin with the biggest value. So you will find out that some people have begun their answer by saying, uh, in a state, let's just copy the whole number the way it is and I look at what I'm doing. So I'll say this is seven, three, four, three, eight, four, nine. So what happens when you look at this, you realize that some people begin with the biggest value or the highest digit. That would be a seven. So seven becomes the biggest digit in this case. So we shall first of all say, I will say, when you come on the last digit, we shall not put there any zero, because this is ones. So if this is ones, I will give it an E, or to represent ones. Then this will be tens with the T, this will be a hundreds, this will be a thousand, this will be ten thousand, 
Then from there, after 10,000, we shall come to 100,000. 100,000, then we shall come to millions. So when we reach there, I'll come to the first one. I'll have seven. And I'll ask myself, which place value does seven take? When you look at this number, we have said seven takes the position of millions. So I'll have seven times one million. I'm multiplying by one million because seven is under the place value of millions. Then we shall come to three. We shall say plus three. Which place value does three lie to or under? It is under 100,000. So if it is a hand under 100,000, I'll multiply it by 100,000. I'll multiply it by 100,000. Then from there, from 100,000, I'll also have to add 4. I'll say plus 4. Then after adding 4, I'll also ask myself, which place value does 4 belong to? It is 10,000. So I'll have to multiply this by 10. Thousand. It's a place value. I'm now multiplying by its place value. Then from there, I'll continue and say the next digit will be 3. I'll say plus 3 times the place value of, a thousand, of, of 3 is 1,000. So we shall have to say 3 times 1,000. The 1,000 is for the place value. So I'll have to put there 1,000. The 1,000 is for the place value. Then from there, I will continue to 8. I'll say 8 times. What is the place value of 8 in this case? The place value of 8 in this case is 100. So I will have to multiply by 100. Plus, I'll continue from 8 to 4. Since I'm done with 8, I'll now come to 4. So I'll say 4. Times, what is the place value of 4? It is 10. So I'll multiply it by 10. Then from there, I'll say plus 9 times. What is the place value of 9 in this case? You realize that the place value of 9 in this case is 1. So I'll add 1. I mean, I will multiply by 1. I'm multiplying by 1 because 1 is the place value. So from there, we shall continue and say... 7 times a million, it will give us 7 millions. 7 times a million, it will give us 7 millions. Then what do we have here? Addition sign plus 3 times 100,000, 3 times 100,000. Plus uh, 10,000, we shall come out with... Eight times a hundred, which will give us eight hundred. Plus, we shall have four times ten, which will give us forty. Plus, nine times one, it will finally give us one. Then from there, I'll have to underline my answer. So by doing this, we are now expressing our number. In expanded form, using values. These are the values they are talking of. We have this value, we have this value, we have this value, this value, this value, like that. These are the values. Sometimes if you don't want to use this method, if you don't want to use this method one, if you don't want to use this method one, this was method one. If you feel like method one is not very okay with you, you are not contented with it, or you are not well with it, you can also use the second step. You can use this or this. This is the same. This is the same method. It is one method. You can either use this or you can use this. Then if you don't want to use this, still we have another alternative. Let's look at method two. We we'll see what are we supposed to do in the second method. So method two, we shall say we have seven, three, we have four, 
we have three, we have eight, four, nine. Which I need to find the value of each digit. I'll have to find the value of each digit here. We shall have to find the value of each digit. After finding the value of each digit, we shall have to add everything. After expressing everything here, we shall be in position to express this number in expanded form using the values. So let's come to the... We want to begin with the first digit here. We shall have 9 times its place value. The place value of 9 in this case is 1. So I'll multiply it by 1, which will give us 9. I'll continue. I'll say I have 4 times. What will be the place value of 4 in this case? It is 10. So if it is 10, we shall have 4 times 10. So I'll say times 10, which will give us 40. Then from there, we shall continue to the next digit. The next digit will be 8 times. What will be the place value of 8 in this case? The place value of 8 is 100. So I'll have to multiply 8 times 100, which will give us 800. Then from there, we shall continue to 3. We shall say 3 times. What is the place value of 3? It is 1,000. So I'll have to multiply it by 1,000, which will give us 3,000. The first digit doesn't have one uh, in a zero. The second digit has one zero. The next one has two. The next one has three, meaning that the next one will have four. Right? So we shall also come to the next digit, and we say it is four. So we shall have four, four times 10,000. Because from 1,000, we go to 10,000, which will give us 40,000. After that, we shall come to the next digit, which is 3. So we shall have 3 times 100,000, because 3 is under the place value of 100,000. So we shall say 3 times 100,000. Times 100. Thousand, which will give us 300,000. So by doing this, we are finding the value of each digit just like the way we were finding values when we were looking at the area of finding values of each digit. Now after finding the values of each digit here, then we shall have to write them in expanded form. So the next step, I'll have seven times one million, because seven is under the place value of a million, which will give us seven millions. After accessing that, then we have to write this in expanded form. We now know values. They said we use the values. So our values of each digit we know. We have known the value of this digit is equal to nine. Of four is 40. The value of eight is 800. The value of three is 3,000. The value of four, it is 40,000. Then at the same time, the value of 3, we shall have 300,000. Lastly, we shall have the value of 7 as 7 millions. Now, after identifying those digits or those values, we shall now come under 7 millions plus, we are now expanding, plus 300,000. 1, 2, 3, comma. Then plus, we're now adding all this. That is what they simply mean by ex writing in expanded form. So plus 40, plus 800, plus 40, and then lastly, plus 9. Then from there, I'll have to underline my answer. Somebody can write it like this. Somebody can also at the same time begin with 9. Comes to 40, comes to 80, comes to 300, comes to 40,000, comes to 300,000, comes to 7 millions. All ways you come to the same answer. So what you are required to do is just to follow 
the same procedure, you either use the first method or the second method. Meanwhile, as we go to the second example, I would advise all the candidates and other kids or other students who are following us outside there to always tune to BTN TV for these lessons at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Meanwhile, as you tune to them, make sure you pick something and write something for your own benefit if you're still mostly, mostly likely in upper primary. So I want us to look at the second example. When you look at the second example, the question here, second example says, Simon planted 8,763,406 mango trees during rainy season. Express the number of trees planted in expanded form. So they have given us the number of trees that this planted during rainy season. So when they talk of rainy season, I think everyone understands that is the period when we have we are receiving some rain. And this is the period mostly people plant crops and so on. So when you look at this, they have given us the number of trees that he planted. So they want us to express the number of trees he planted in a expanded form. When you look at this number, they have not specified that you should use values or you should use exponents or powers. Uh, when I talk of powers and exponents, uh, they are the same. The word is the same. We have a base and exponent or power. So sometimes we also exp uh, expand numbers using powers. So at this time, I want us to expand this zero number using powers, and we compare with the first one where they said we use values. So when we come to this, let me first use powers. We are going to the first method we shall use powers. So the first one we shall say powers. We are going to expand the number using powers. So if I'm using powers or exponents, sometimes we call it exponent or powers. So I'll first copy my question as 8,763,436. I want us to use powers. I'm going to first use powers. Then later on we'll see what to do. So. And the first question they specified and said use exponents. I mean, they said use values. But the second example, they have not specified. So one person can use values, another person can use exponents. According to you, it is now your wish. Once the question is just open like that, you decide which method are you supposed to use. You can use values. At the same time, you can use exponents. So we shall begin by multiplying every number here by 10 when we are dealing with the powers we shall multiply every digit by 10 after that we shall give them powers and when we are giving powers we shall consider the plus value of zero and we shall give it zero power then we give one two three four five six what does it mean uh, when we multiply by 10 the first one will be to power zero the second one will be to power one the next one to be power two, just like we are saying eight times 10 plus seven times 10 plus six times 10 plus three times 10 plus four times 10 plus three times 10. At the same time, we shall summarize with the last one by saying plus six times 10. So I want us to look at this. We shall first of all multiply every digit here by 10. So we shall have eight times 10. Then we shall have seven times 10. We shall have six times 10. We shall have three times 10 we shall have 4 times 10, we shall have 3 times 10, then 6 times 10. After that, we shall come now, we consider what we call powers. We shall consider what we call powers. So we say the bracket that is multiplying 6, we shall give it to power 0. So I'll come here, I'll say this will be to power 10 to power 0. 
10 to power 1, 10 to power 2, 10 to power 3, 10 to power 4, 10 to power 5, 10 to power 6. So we have to put powers on top of 10, 10, 10. We have to power this. So we shall have the first one as 8 times 10 to power 6. 10 to power 6 will simply mean 10 to power 6. This bracket only means that you have got 8 times 10, 6 times. So meaning that it will be 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. How many times of them? They want 6 times. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10. This is what it means. So when you see me putting here to power 6, I mean it will be 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Which will give us 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10, 100. 100 times 10, 1,000. 1,000 times 10, 10,000. 10,000 times 10, 100,000. 100,000 times 10, a million. So it will be 8 times 1 million. This statement and this statement and this statement, they are the same. The three statements, when I have this, all these three statements mean the same. And another person has 8 times 1 million, times 1 million. Then another person has 10 times 10 to power 6. All these, these, these statements here are the same. They are all the same. There is no any big difference. At the same time, another person can also have 8 million. 8 million. All these four statements, they are the same. They mean one thing. When you multiply everything here, you will come with the 8 million. Here, it will give you 8 million. When you also multiply this and expand, you get 8 million. And 8 million is the same as all everything here. So a person who is having any of this statement simply means the same. So let's come here. That is what we have called our expanded form. This is our expanded form. So from there, it's the same as also saying, I can also expand it. So they said using powers. So if we are using powers, I will come and expand then from there. I'll underline. This is our answer. It has got the powers. It has 8 times 10, power 6. And they wanted us to use powers. Sometimes if they don't, want, if they don't call them powers, they call them exponents. So the two words are the same. Powers and exponents. But the powers and exponents are different from values. So the two things should not confuse, the three things should not confuse you. When they say values, use the first method on the first example, then or the second method on the first example. Then when they talk about exponents or powers, use this method on this example. All of them are the same. So let's continue. When we look at the question, they didn't specify the method. So one person can use this method. Another person can also decide to use another method. So let's call this method one. This one here, let's call it method one. This is method one. So I want us to look at method two, if that is method one. That is method one, now we are going to method two. Method two, we shall first of all also copy the question. We have eight, seven, six, three, four, three, six. So this is what we are going to look at. I want us to use now values in the second method. The first method we have used powers. I want now the second method we use, values. We said, here we shall call the place values, we shall say this will be 
we begin with this if we want. So we shall say this is 6 times the place value of 6 is 1 plus 3. So we shall say 3 times 10. Why are we multiplying by 10? We are multiplying by 10 because 10 is under the place value of 10s. So we get the digit times its plus values. So what we come out with will be the value. Just like those who have been following us, they know what is supposed to be done and they know what we have been doing. We started this area or this topic. So from there, we shall continuously say, from three we shall come to four. So I'll say four times 100. I'm multiplying with 100 because 4 is under the place value of 100. We shall continue and say, we shall have 3 times 1,000. We are multiplying with 1,000 because 3 lies or it is under at the place value of 1,000. Then from there, we shall continue to 6. I'll say plus 6 times 10,000. We are multiplying by 10,000 because 10,000 is taking the place value of 10,000. Then from there, we shall continue and add 7. 7 times 100,000 because 7 is under the place value of 100,000. So we shall have to multiply by 100,000. Then from there, I will continue and say uh, 7 is done. I want now to come to 8. So we shall also multiply 8. We shall say 8 times 1 million because it is under the place value of millions. So when we come to this, you realize that we have expanded this number. The first 6 which takes place value of 1, we have multiplied by 1. The 3 by 10. The 4 by 100. The 3 by 1,000. The 6 by 10,000, the 7 by 100,000, the 8 by million. So when you look at this, we shall still continue to write now everything value. So let me remove from the brackets. I will say, begin with the big one by one, the biggest number. So I'll begin with 8 times 1 million, which will give us 8 millions. Plus, so we have opened just the brackets. 8 times 1 million, it will give us 8 millions. Then I will add this. 7 times 100,000, it will give us 700,000. Plus, we come to the next one. The next one, we have 6 times 10,000, which will give us 60,000. So here we shall have 60,000. Plus, we come to the next box, we have, the next bracket, we have 3 times 1,000, which will give us 3,000. So we shall have to add 3,000. Plus, 4 times 100, it will give us 400. Plus, 3 times 10, it will give us 30. Plus, Lastly, we shall have 6 times 1 to give us 6 times 1, it will give us 6. 6 times 1, it will give us 6. So when you look at this, we shall realize that 8 is giving us 8 million plus 700,000 plus 60,000 plus 3,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 6. All this is what we call expanded form. We have expanded the number using values. The first one was powers. Then the second one, we have used values. So all these methods are necessary. But whenever you are using them, always consider the question. What does the question want us to do? If they give you the question and they say use values, then you use exponents, you are wrong. But if they say using exponents and you use values, you are wrong. You have to go with the method that you want. If they ask for a different method and you give a different method, they will mark you wrong. Even if your answer 
seem to be correct, but you have not followed the instruction or the command of the question. So make sure before you handle your question or before you start working out anything, first consider the instructions given by the question. After there, uh, things will move on well. Definitely. From there, let's continue. I also look at something such that you can also continue with what we've done. Meanwhile, for those who are following us outside there, please, let's continuously abide by the directives of the government of administration. Let's not be reckless on what we're doing. Let's take everything serious, more so the directives from the government, more so from the Minister of Health and the President of the country, whatever. He gives us the directives, let's try to abide with them. The situation will come down, God willing, with the time. So as we wind up with the lesson, I would also wish those candidates and uh, semi-candidates, let me say those who are in upper primary, have been following us. I expect you to be having somewhere where you are writing something. As you are writing something, I would also expect you uh, this activity, just outside there where you are in your book, just like those ones who have been following us, I know they have their own specific books. So I would like you to also work out these activities based on what we have done. And in case you find something in you that you are not understanding better, you can as well contact me. Then we see how I will get back to you and I'll see how you can be hoped. So let's look at activity number one. Uh, number one, they said write the following numbers in expanded form using values. So they want us, they want you to use the values and you write everything in expanded form. So they have given you the first number, the second, the third, the fourth. The first one is saying 78 million four hundred eighty-six thousand seven hundred twenty-three. They want you to expand that number using values. Number two, they said you also expand the same number in uh, using also values. So they said four millions three hundred thirty-four thousand eight hundred forty-eight. They want you to use values. When you come to number three, still on using values. They have also given us a number here, 984 million, 348,438. They want you to write that in expanded form using values. Still on values, millions, 200, Two, they want you to write in expanded form 733 millions 203,202 using values. Then at the same time, they have also given you some numbers. They want you to use powers. Using powers, work out this. So they have said, you work out the first number is here. You will say this is 7 million 843. 1,437, then at the same time they want you to expand the second number, that is that, uh, 92 million 342 thousand in expanded form using powers. Or as the second last, they said you also expand 230 million 26,003 in expanded form using powers. Lastly, but not least, they have said expand 32,444 in expanded form using powers. Remember, I've said whoever has come out with any question that you are not understanding well, you feel like you want to understand something, you feel like you have failed to read something here in words, you feel like maybe you are not managing to understand the values of a certain number, you feel like you want to not really pick to the point concerning power, concerning values. When you are expanding, just feel free, send your messages in WhatsApp 
using this very number, you'll be helped. Please, as I wind up with my lesson, I want to say this, those who are following us, always keep following us, keep following our program. We shall continuously stand with you till further notice when government says schools are open. Switch to BTN TV for your own advantage. And I would also encourage you continuously to observe government measures towards fighting COVID-19. The situation is alarming, but it will come to an end. As I summarize, we also recognize BTN staff for the initiative that it enables us to reach you outside there and avail you with the service, which will keep you updated academically. I wish you well as we continue from there tomorrow.